All right, what's up, everybody? Welcome Thursday night, Don Ross Baseball, four box break number fourteen. All right, we got twelve boxes left in the case. Uh, no whammy card yet. The first three cases had a whammy card in them. Those are uh, really cool, ultra rare, short print. Uh, only five players on the checklist, but uh, real good players. Vladi, Soto, uh, Mookie Betts is on there. All right, let's see what we got. All right, boxes 9, 10, 11, 12. All right, boxes 1, 2, 3, 4. I'll put that on the left. And five, six, seven, and eight we'll put in the middle. All right, so there's our 12 boxes. Oh, what did we hit last night? There was um, a David Ortiz auto in the first uh, four boxes. That was pretty cool. And then we hit, uh, we hit another big vintage auto. In the first break. Forgot what player it was. It'll come to me. Alright, we're going to roll a dice. Uh, one, two, we'll do the left side. Three, four, we'll do the middle. And five, six, we'll do the right. Alright, we got a one. So left side boxes. One, two, three, four. And we'll finish this case up uh, tonight. We have two more Donruss breaks. Right now, Select Basketball uh, is up on eBay. I only have two more breaks to select. So tonight and tomorrow night will be it on Select Basketball. All right, let's get to the chat. All right, what's up, everybody? What's up, Barry? What's up, Nick? What's up, Corey? How you guys doing? Oh, wow, you guys been chatting, huh? <laughs> All right, here are your teams. Uh, we got the USA spot on the bottom. Uh, USA spot also includes, if we hit any, uh, Amaya autos. Oh, no, Ayala, Ayala. He's like a uh, YouTuber, does like funny baseball stuff. From the Dominican Baseball League. <clears throat> He's got like almost 200,000 followers. He's not like one of those guys with like millions. But uh, I think it was like 180,000 or something. I guess big enough to be in a sports product. There you go. Good luck, guys. This is break 14. And I apologize. I posted all the breaks uh, before daylight savings, and I forgot to change the uh, time in the description. When I found out, it was too late, and uh, rather than take them, take them all down, I figured we just keep them going. Uh, so tonight and tomorrow night will be the last of the, uh, you know, the hour off breaks. So everything is like an hour behind on the description time. But the auctions go accordingly. Because when the national spot, which is the last spot, ends. Um, you know the breaks are always about a half hour after that. So the time that the break says on the description, there's still like 10 more teams uh, on eBay. <clears throat> That's been my format for two years. It's like an hour and a half worth of uh, auction time. It's about three minute gaps. Yeah, it is three minute gaps in between each team. Times 30 teams, an hour and a half, and then a half hour to get ready for the break and send invoices, <clears throat> get the payments in. 
<clears throat> break sheet. Yeah, Yala, yeah, that should be a nice one. They put him in the set last minute with, um, with, uh, who else did they add? Uh, Kakuchi, that guy from Japan, the big popular guy. Uh, that's like the big rookie card to hit, Kakuchi. You know, it should have some value. I would guess like 50 or 100 bucks or something. I haven't checked, but I'm sure they sell for something like that. And we haven't hit one yet, so getting closer. I'm sure out of the eight cases, we'll hit a couple of them. At least one. I mean, we already hit two Aaron Judge autos. We hit a uh, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. auto. We hit one of the buybacks. That we, sh we should be due up for again. A nice buyback auto. We hit a Vladimir Guerrero Sr. Uh, buyback number to three. That was a big hit. And every case has had all... Uh, they have all the relics. There's about... You know, you get about two or three relics in every box. First three cases, uh, one of those relics was a nice patch. Like a three or four color patch. So hopefully a patch pops up. All right, first half of box one. Good luck. Oh, who get? Yeah, the USA spot gets the the Ayala. Yep, it's listed on eBay as uh, USA and Ayala. So all yours, Barry. If we hit it. Alright, later, uh, going to bed later, Corey. Don't know if I missed you. And what's up, Nick with the C? Just saw you. Alright, first hit right off the bat. Joey Votto to 99, Majestic Materials. Alright, there's our first jersey card. And it's got the gold foil on the Donruss logo, so that makes it number 299. All right, Jay Livens, congrats, Jeremy. And the select basketball break, we didn't hit the zebra yet in the, the first four boxes, so it should be a zebra coming either tonight or tomorrow night. I know that's a big chase card. All right, Blake Snellzilla nickname. We got the lovely Diamond Kings back every year since the 80s. All right, we got Fernando Romero, Minnesota Twins, number to 279. Career stat line, uh, 279 opponents average. All right, Team USA. Usually a bunch of USA American Pride parallels. Uh, to 9.99, Spencer Torkelson. If they have Wit, that would probably be the biggest name to hit. Uh, I haven't seen a Wit yet. He was in the USA uh, from the Elite Extra Edition set, so maybe he's in this set too. That's Bobby Witt's son. It's uh, Bobby Witt Jr., I believe. Hey, what's up, Toby? And what's up, Ron? How you doing, guys? Uh, Freddy Peralta to 176, uh, to 178, that's his opponent's average. Uh, you'll see a bunch of these, nickname cards, Mick, Miles, Nicholas. Otani. Alright, now we got the Independence Day parallels with the, uh, stars on the border. There's Severino. About four of those per box on average. Four or five. 
Kluber name variation. All right, Bueller's day off variation, Walker Bueller. All right, Julio Pablo Martinez, Texas Rangers, Auto Relic. All right, usually one auto per box. Sometimes you get two, depending. All right, Texas Rangers, uh, J. David Fulcomer, congrats. There's a really good checklist on the rated prospects. I'm sure this guy's good, too. Uh, everybody else is good. I don't know too much about Julio Pablo. But they got uh, Tatis, Guerrero, Nick Senzel, a lot of good, good prospects. All right, Juan Soto nickname, Juan Ho. Yeah, Donruss always has, like, a lot of guys have, like, a main nickname. Donruss is it's always good at finding, like, a second or third nickname they have. I noticed that the last couple of years. All right, Blue Dominator, so 249 J.D. Martinez for the Red Sox. Acuna. All right, last little stack of the first half. Independence Day, Heath, Phil Meyer, and a Soto. Second half. Yeah, I feel like there's going to be a buyback in this case somewhere, hopefully now. I'm sure there are tough pulls. Um, yeah, we hit one right away. I, know, I bet you the odds are like one in every eight cases or something. But I feel like we'll hit two or three of them when we're all done. There'll be uh, 32 total breaks of Don Russ. Uh, Tops Inception. I have five cases of that coming uh, next Wednesday. So I'll have a couple breaks on Wednesday night. Along with uh, Cornerstones Basketball, I got three, uh, three cases of that. So I'm doing a half case breaks of both those. So Inception will be eight box breaks. So we'll have 10 of those. That'll be going by the weekend. Next weekend. And then Friday, what comes in? National Treasures Football. So I'll be doing some breaks uh, this weekend. Before breaks of that, I got two cases of NT football. So four half case breaks. All right, Lorenzo Kane, Independence Day. And we didn't hit any of the uh, press proofs or artist proofs. Those are number to five and number to ten. Uh, every case so far, first three cases had uh, both those in each case. All right, Bryce Harper to 999. <clears throat> Acuna, full name variation. Eric Hosmer, number to 500. 
So the career stat lines, uh, they don't number them over 500. So even if the stat is over 500, they'll still number it to 500. So that says 635 RBIs in his career. All right, Brandon Crawford, number to 500, 718 OPS last year. Uh, Luis Urias, rated rookie. All right, all rise, Aaron Judge to 999, that cool uh, nicknames card. There's six players on this checklist. Says so on the back. All right, Noah Syndergaard, nice uh, 150th anniversary of baseball, number to 150. Yes, yeah, Syndergaard, my favorite current player right now. But my favorite all-time Met, that's a tough one, man. Between, like, Daryl Strawberry, Gary Carter, Doc Gooden, so many. Hard to pick a favorite. Ah, uh, JT Real Muto. Uh, full name variation, Jacob Tyler. And Texas Rangers, Cole Hamels, 1985-style uh, jersey card. All right, Texas, J. David, congrats. Well, seems like all my Mets are always injured, but, uh... They've been getting healthier. A couple years ago was a disaster, man. We had that crazy uh, pitching rotation. Everybody got injured. But glad to have DeGrom back. And Syndergaard, you know, he should be back for a full season. Unless he got injured in spring training and I didn't, I didn't hear about it. Ah, uh, Kikuchi. Rated rookie. There's the big guy. Seattle Mariners. Hopefully get a couple of those. We did hit uh, one of his autographs. It's a redemption auto. We hit one in uh, the second case, I believe. Second or third case. All right, one sorted a 349. That's the bronze parallel elite series. Nice looking card. Trevor Story, Trev. All right, Jackie Robinson Day Parallel, uh, 2 out of 42, Michael Conforto, good young Met. Oh, look at that, Chris Sell cards in a row. So one is the photo variation, there are a bunch of photo variations. No way to tell them unless you, uh, you know, unless you see the checklist or like a photo gallery. No code on the back that's different. The nicknames are easy to spot, but those are tough. But uh, all card ship, so you could look through your base cards uh, if you're looking for the photo variations. Uh, Stephen Duggar, rated rookie, Independence Day. Yelly. Kyle Tucker rated rookie and old Double. All right, box two. All right, select basketball. Same deal with uh with this break. The description time is an hour off, so that break starts. How long? An hour away from that break. Instead of 12.30 Eastern Time, it's 1.30 Eastern Time.
All right, Pablo Lopez, Independence Day. Oh, let me open up some more packs. But yeah, Select Basketball, really nice looking cards. So popular too, the uh, prices per box shot up so much. why it's tough to buy you know if I have if I got uh, three cases on allocation which I pay like the pre-order price months ago for it it's tough to add like any more to that because now it's like double in price from that you know like a normal set you know will be uh, you know when it comes out the retail value will be you know, like 20 bucks, 30 bucks more than uh, like the wholesale price. But uh, some of those products get real hot and they're like double in price. Like uh, Heritage last year, Gypsy Queen last year. Because of Otani, those were going for almost like $200 a box. And it's normally like an $80, $100 product. Oh, kids are good, man. I had uh, another parent-teacher conference today for Phoenix. Oh, uh, he's doing really good so far. And yeah, my daughter's doing good, too. Yeah, with maturity. Uh, yeah, they were wild kids when they were younger. All right, Harrison Bader, St. Louis Cardinals autograph. Uh, Bleachers, Inc., Very nice. He was a good rookie last year. Hopefully a good sophomore season for him. Cardinals are trying to trend upwards now. They've been a steady like playoff team for so long and they've had some trouble the last couple years. But looks like they're on their way back. All right, Cardinals, Monsters. Congrats. Monsters 79. How about you, T? How's the kids? All right, Paxton to nine ninety nine highlights. Throws a no hitter last year. Kyle Freeland, ace nickname. All right, Lindor, Father's Day card, number to 49. These are nice. The Father's Day blue and the Mother's Day pink. Nice and low numbered parallels. But yeah, when Phoenix was younger, a couple years ago... I'd get nervous, uh, you know, getting him on the bus, knowing that probably like once every two weeks I can get a call from the teacher or, you know, guidance counselor or somebody from the school calling about something. But you just keep cracking away, try to keep him in a nice routine, a little discipline. Uh, Josh James, Houston Astros, Independence Day. Uh, KB nickname. And we got Starling Castro, Chicago Cubs, 1985 style, retro style jersey. Well, the card is retro style, not the jersey. Ah, uh, Cubbies, Jay Livens, congrats. Oh, very nice, man. Wow, 4.43. Yeah, that's awesome. She's getting that extra credit somewhere, man. Yeah, it's a good feeling, huh? 
All right, another Kikuchi. So second Kikuchi. I think the most we've gotten a break is like, it's either two or three. Yeah, I think there was a break. We got three of them. But usually you get like one or two of them. So we got two right off the bat. Hopefully at least another one pops up. Maybe two more. All right. Corey Kluber, franchise features. He's on the front. Number to 349. On the back, Mitch Keller of the Pirates. All right, so at the end of the break, uh, we'll see who wins all these cards. There should be a few of them. Azilla, uh, Blake Snell nickname. All right, another Pablo Lopez. That's number to 126, his career whip. All right, second half of box two. Yeah, maybe uh, yeah, I don't know. Hopefully, uh, my daughter doesn't go away. But my daughter, she definitely she wants to go to like Japan and you know all the places she wants to go like are way far away. But try to keep her local for a little. Plenty of good colleges in New York. I mean, we got Stony Brook here. Her mother went to Stony Brook. She was actually uh, 3.8 GPA or something on the Dean's List honor roll every semester. Too bad she couldn't finish that up, man. That would have been nice. Long story. <laughs> All right, good luck, guys. Second half of box two. All right, Williams Astudillo, uh, number to 150, 150th anniversary. Kyle Tucker, rated rookie. All right, Lindor, number to 343. That's how many total bases last year. That's crazy. That's a high number. Him and Ramirez, man. Racking up the stats. Uh, Kluber. No first name on that card, so that's a variation. Mikolas. Ah, uh, James Paxton. Another one. This is the blue one to 249. So you got two pieces of that uh, rainbow. Highlights rainbow. Ah, uh, another Luis Yuri rated rookie. All right, Ramon Laureano to 74. 74 total bases last year. I guess he played a little bit. Probably did pretty good, man. 48 games. Yeah, he did real good. 358 on base percentage, 5 homers, 19 RBIs, a triple, 12 doubles, 45 hits. In like a third of a season. Less than that. Ah, uh, Pucci. Ozzy Albee's nickname. David Peralta, Independence Day. Showtime Otani. Uh, Aguilar, nickname El Calsa. Mm. 
All right, JD Martinez, Dominator, some 999. I think that's the second Dominator JD. The other one was blue, I believe. All right, Jose Ramirez, Cleveland Indians, Majestic Materials. All right, our fourth. No, not our fourth. One, two, three. Third hit of the box. So you get three or four hits per box. So let's see if we get another hit here. Ah, uh, Jacob Tyler, Real Muto, JT variation. All right, Juan Soto, number to 406. Career on base percentage, that's pretty crazy. What a rookie year, huh? Man, he batted 292 with a 406 on base percentage last year. That's insane. Such poise for a young kid. Yeah, one so far. Hopefully more pop up. I'm sure, yeah, you'll definitely get a couple more. Hopefully a bunch more. I mean, there were some breaks that there were nine of them. Okay, another one coming up. Looks like a good one, too. All right, Andrew Vaughn, gold to 99. Gold is a nice one. We hit a couple of the greens, number to 25. That's the lowest I've seen so far. There you go, Lord Barry. Very nice. Andrew Vaughn. They got a lot of pitchers, I notice. Always good to get the position players. Trev... Ah, uh, Manny Machado to 487. Garrett Cole, Independence Day. Yelly. All right, box three. Yeah, I want to see an Ayala. I haven't seen one of those yet. So I'm rooting for that one. No, Barry's been breaking for a while. Yeah, you've joined a bunch of breaks, Barry. Ah, uh, thank you, Brad. So in the variations, the player looks larger compared to the regular base photo. Oh, the Jose Ramirez. Yeah, I try to spot as many as I can. Not the photo ones. I don't even try for the photos. But uh, but I ship all the base, so you'll definitely get everything. Just I'll keep a look at Yeah, I haven't uh, spotted any photo variations. You know, I've spotted them, but... You know, I don't look for them because it'd be too complicated uh, through all... Because there's so many variations. I'm trying to, like, nail every one. So, you know, I call out all the nicknames or the... Yeah, anything with the name variation on it. Yeah, the USA, I think the least we've gotten in the break is like three or four. But I've seen as many as uh, yeah, nine, almost ten. I think our first case was like loaded with USA cards. 
I think first break had nine, then the next one had like seven. All right, good luck, guys. I want to see something huge here. Out of nowhere, Don Ross pops up some crazy stuff. Uh, Trevor Richards, that's number to 25. That's a nice low-numbered one. Uh, four out of 25. 25 starts last year. All right, nice one from Miami. Uh, I don't think USA has autos. I'm not 100% sure, but I've never seen a USA auto on Don Russ. And I'm sure they have one of ones. You know, I haven't hit one of those, but uh, the greens to 25. And a lot of these guys end up getting drafted uh, and end up being good, so the value can grow on them. Ah, uh, Brandon Crawford, Independence Day Parallel. Alright, Ryan Tellis. All the cards it says Rowdy, so I guess Rowdy's his nickname. Zilla, Blake Snell. Alright, another Kyle Tucker rated rookie. Daniel Polka, Independence Day. All right, we got Charlie Blackman, number to 349. Action also is bronze. Bueller's Day Off. Yarius. Uh, Noel V. Marte rated prospect jersey card. Uh, gold foil to 99. Congrats to the Mariners. Uh, Yvette Corvette. Yeah, the buyback cards, uh, last I checked, they weren't on the checklist. So I don't think they ever put them on the checklist. It's like a buyback surprise, but there's some good players, man. Like, we hit the Vladimir Guerrero. Um, in previous years, I've seen in other products buybacks of, uh, you know, Pedro, Roger Clemens, really good ones. Roger Clemens is definitely in this year's set. Somebody hit him. Ooh, look at that sparkly whammy card coming out. There's the whammy. Good luck, guys. All right, our fourth whammy in four cases. Who's it going to be? We hit Soto and two Vladimir Guerrero so far. All right, another Juan Soto. Congrats to the Nationals. That's awesome. These cards were sound like crazy. I'm sure they chilled out a little bit, but even uh, I think the lowest these could go for is like 50 bucks. I'm sure this could even be a hundred plus right now. I have no clue, but I heard like a couple hundred the first couple nights they were out. Ah, uh, Nationals, Monsters, 79, Soto Whammy. And it's a nice case because there's 16 boxes in the case, not like a 8 box or 12 box case hit. So, uh, got to go through a lot more boxes to hit a Soto. Or to hit a whammy. Yeah, Yala is definitely a short print. It's got to be tough. I've heard of them being pulled, so. Alright, yeah, these whammy cards are awesome. It'd be cool if they put autographed versions of them. Imagine that with some nice, uh, I don't know, nice silver marker or something, gold marker. 
All right, congrats. That's beautiful. Back looks cool too. The hottest, hottest teenage sensation in 2018 wasn't an upstart band or fresh face actor. It was Soto, 19 years old last year. Did it go down that much, man? Wow. So imagine the people paying uh, triple digits for it, like the first night it was out, second night it was out. Those usually go for like uh, 100 plus on the first couple days, and then they go down to like 50 or something. All right, American Pride uh, to 149, Drew Parrish. So a nice red uh, Team USA. All right, so the third one, you got a red and a gold, which is really nice. Sometimes you hit 6, 7, and you don't get the... Uh, a red or a gold in those. Ah, oh, that shocking tee. Still not bad for, you know, for a non-auto card, but still. Yeah, I see them. People asking $36.50, $40.60. Yeah, so I guess the $35 is a safe bet. Oh, we got a redemption. Good luck, guys. All right, let's see who it is. Uh, we've hit a couple of nice redemptions. Aaron Judge, Kikuchi, who's it going to be? All right, the sport is baseball. All right, 2019 Donruss base brand Donruss. Retro 1985 rated rookie signatures. Oh, wow, so that's a rated rookie signature of... All right, Kikuchi. Boom, congrats to the Mariners. Oh, I wish I had my little uh, voice box here. I think Phoenix touched it, man. Boom. Card number one. 85 style rated rookie signatures. That's awesome. Uh, Yvette Corvette. There it is. Kikuchi. Oh, Vlad Jr. is 60. Okay. Yeah, I know they chill out to like 50, 60. I would think Soto is like more than 30, man. 35. So, yeah, I think somebody told me the they saw Vladimir Guerrero the first night sell for a couple hundred. And I know they go for like 100 usually. And then they chill out to like 50, 60. Uh, this has some pretty good value too, man. This is the uh, big Japanese sensation of the year. All right, very nice. Congrats. So our second Kikuchi auto in four cases. So every other case, that's not bad. All right, second half of box three. Yeah, I always, uh, the box with the wham usually has another big hit in it. Yeah, I think uh, first case would be hit the Aaron Judge in the same one. I think the Kikuchi was also, our first Kikuchi auto we pulled was uh, with the whammy inside the box also, I believe. Oh, all good. I believe you, T. Yeah, 
Yeah, I try to share the knowledge. I know I'm not always uh, right with all them. And like, I don't sell uh, individual cards on eBay, so I'm a little out of touch with that stuff. But but I remember like the first night break in, uh, just heard some people talking about it. And then I know from the past what they used to sell for. Yeah, usually like a hundred bucks for the big ones. Uh, you know, the first couple nights are out, and then they mellow out to like fifty bucks. There's always big players on it, you know, Shroud and uh, Chris Bryant, the big rookies. Right, did Soto, I don't know if Soto had a whammy last year, but I'm pretty sure uh, Acuna and Glaber had him last year. And Otani. All right, Nolan Arenado, Blue Elite Series at 249. All right, Ronald Jose Acuna Blanco Jr. All right, Sean Reed Fairley to 150. So there's Aaron Judge. I know he's got a photo variation. That looks like a bigger picture, perhaps. That's probably the variation. All right, JT Real Muto, number to 114. 114 career doubles. Right, Jose Ramirez to 999. All right, Verlander to 150, another 150 uh, anniversary. Stinson Silver uh, Team USA card to $9.99. All right, so went from one USA card to four pretty quick. Still got plenty more to shoot for. All right, number to 33, Whit Merrifield, 33 career home runs. That's a nice one for the Royals. He's real popular out there in KC. Could be the new face of the franchise there. Oh yeah, no, when a product first comes out, that's when you'll get like the highest prices. Uh, sometimes it backfires if like a player gets really hot and his prices go up. Or like people, uh, we'll see what happens with Otani, man. People uh, selling, Otani was selling crazy in his rookie year. Still selling really good now. But uh, the people that sold, you know, like his $1,000 autos, we'll see if they're worth like $10,000 one day or something. One hope. Or if he gets injured, disappears, and nobody knows who he is like 10 years from now. Then a Santana Independence Day, which I doubt will happen. He'll always, uh, even in his rookie year, just being able to hit home runs and strike out people is pretty amazing. He'll have a place in history just for that, no matter what he does now. Ah, uh, Ozzy Albies, Atlanta Braves. All right, Majestic Materials, uh, CGM Extreme, congrats. All right, Ozzy, he had a great rookie year, too. All right, good night, Ronnie. Thank you for stopping in, man. Oh, who's underrated? Uh, Whit Merrifield? I think that's who you're talking about. Uh, 
I know he's a fan favorite in KC. They love him there. Ah, uh, number to 460, Matt Boyd. 460 innings careers career. Yelly. Taylor Ward, Independence Day. All right, guys, last box. Good luck. Hopefully a good one. Yeah, first case, there was one break, but every box was crazy. That was, uh, that's the one that we hit, like, the, the buyback. We hit the Aaron Judge auto. We hit, um... Anthony Rizzo auto. We hit uh, Pudge Rodriguez auto. Um, I think we hit the Kikuchi in that one also. Plus the Vladimir Guerrero Jr. whammy. So every box was nuts. Alright, about a half hour away from a select basketball break. Alright, invoice is getting out soon for that one. Oh man, today was a busy day. Had uh, the parent teacher conference. You know, I had two of them uh, for Phoenix one for his math teacher, and uh, you know, two separate days, and one for his main teacher. And then had to get the quarterly taxes. So I have to go through all my uh, all the orders in the last four, uh, three months and add up all the New York State uh, orders to get the sales, sales tax numbers. Alright, first half of box four, good luck. But I have a really good account, man. He makes uh, he makes it real easy. Just have to give him the numbers, that's all he needs. And throughout the year he does the rest of the work. Ah, Mookie Betts Independence Day Parallels. Yeah, if you you know if you do break in full time, uh, definitely definitely need an accountant. Trying to do the paperwork and all the numbers uh, on your own takes so much time. Ah, uh, Ronald Acuna variation. All right, franchise features uh, bronze at three forty nine. You got Degrom on the front and Duplanter on the back. All right, so Mets and D backs uh, will get a chance at this one. Hey, what's up, Nathan? All right, uh, Prince Albert. Number to 500. All right, there's Wit. All right, Jesus Aguila to 500 with the nickname on it. All right, Jose Ramirez. Oh, number to 9.99 highlights. All right, Yelich to three forty three, reigning MVP for the National League. I just noticed the Kikuchi auto. I think our first redemption was a different one. I don't think it was the eighty five rated rookie style. Maybe it was, but I feel like it said something else.
Yeah, maybe it wasn't. Maybe he's got a couple different styles. Yeah, that one's not ringing a bell. All right, Brian Anderson, Independence Day. All right, Reese Hoskins, Philadelphia Phillies, uh, Majestic Materials. You got a red pinstripe on the left side there. Congrats to the Phillies, uh, Brad G. Brad G cards. Love how they got him in the throwback uniform in this set. Come on, buy back. Oh, nice Max Muncy hollow foil back. So that's number to, to 99. 30 out of 99 on the Muncy. He exploded on the scene last year also. He had like 35, 40 homers. All right, Mookie Betts to 9.99. Action All-Stars. All right, guys, last half of box four. Here we go. Should have a couple hits here at least. So two more John West breaks uh, later tonight. Uh, spots should be already uh, ending on eBay for uh, break number 15. And then uh, tomorrow night, what do we have? My last select break and... Uh, I believe I put the NT football for opening night. You know, I'm like 10 days. I have uh, my listings on eBay like 10 days ahead of schedule already, which is awesome. I've caught up. When it used to get busy, sometimes I'd have to put them like the night before, or three days beforehand. But I got them loaded up. So you'll always see like uh, at least seven days uh, before the auction ends. So it'll be like a seven-day auction. And today we caught up to a 10-day auction. So tonight you'll see stuff popping up for like 10 days from now. Oh, uh, Joey Gallo to 49, Father's Day Blue. Anthony Rizzo Independence Day. Michael Kopech, first rated rookie for him so far. All right, we got Jordan Hicks, St. Louis Cardinals jersey card. Uh, Monsteres, two seven, uh, Monsteres, 79, congrats. Should still have a hit left, good luck. All right, nice Bryce Harper blue, uh, number to 249 Action All-Stars. Uh, Bieber to 150.
Carlos Correa Independence Day. All right. Ooh, this could be a good one. We got a backwards Anthony Rizzo for the Cubs. Should be an auto. All right. Boom. Congrats. 7 out of 49. Anthony Rizzo. Blue foil. Autograph. Uh, Cubbies. Jeremy, congrats. Jay Livins. 7 out of 49. Beautiful card. That blue looks nice. And for some reason this year, the blue autos like that and the red ones, any of the colored ones, don't fit in the, in the mags. I think they cut them a little longer or something. You could even see on the bottom, like, you know, I don't think it's off-centered. I think just the bottom has a little more space in the top. All right, very nice. All right, congrats, Shami. Rizzo's always a good one. And we still got some more cards here. Otani. Bueller's Day Off. All right, nice Mike Trout. Red Dominators. That's a good-looking card. to 149. Look at that. So nice. Oh, it went flying. Jake Cave. All right, and ending with the Wanho. All right, that was the end of break 14. A uh, couple of minutes, we'll do a recap, and we'll see who wins those uh, franchise features cards. Oh no, is eBay doing another maintenance thing? Please don't do that, eBay. Trying to see the invoices and nothing's popping up, man. Uh, yeah, lately there's been a couple nights that they do some kind of like update or something to eBay and you can't. Oh my god, man. What is this? It's not you, it's us. Our server is down, but we'll have things back to normal soon. Oh, man. Great.
Okay. Oh, is it back? Please be back. Yeah, they're doing something. Shoot. Uh, okay, maybe now. All right, it's back to normal. Alright, sorry guys, I can't see the chat right now if anybody's uh, asking me anything. But yeah, two minutes, we'll do the recap. Just getting a couple invoices out. So yeah, select basketball, uh, about 15 minutes away from that break. And yep, Donruss break 15. Uh, we're up to like the White Sox on eBay, so all the previous teams are gone. Yeah, eBay scares me sometimes, man, with these things. It's not you, it's us. And sometimes the auctions get really glitchy. You put in a bid and it doesn't go through or it says you won the auction and you didn't win it. For the most part, uh, most nights are pretty smooth. Alright guys, here we go, and I'll get back to the chat. Oh man, luckily I sneaked out the invoices, and now here, let me show you what I'm looking at. Just so you know, just so, I don't know, I guess only if you're selling you'll notice this stuff. See, look at that. It's not you, it's us. Our server is down, but we'll have things back up. I was able, it said that, and then I was able to, it went back. I was able to send the invoices, and now this popped up again. So let's see, selling. Awaiting payment. See, boom. But I got them out, so hopefully they uh, just get this figured out. All right, let's get back to chat. Hey, what's up, Terry? Yeah, just one break of select tonight. Uh, tomorrow night I'll have uh, my last break. I only got three cases, so break eight tonight, break nine tomorrow night. All right, here we go. Uh, we got two of these cards, franchise features. Uh, you got two different teams on them. So you got Jacob DeGrom for the Mets on this one, number to 349. And on the back is Duplanter. And then another one to 349, you got Kluber and Mitch Keller. So Indians and Pirates. And then uh, Mets and D-back. So we'll roll the dice. Odd, it'll go to the front. Even it will go to the team on the back.
All right, odd front, even back. And we got a six, so the back. So D backs and Pirates, congrats. And here's our recap. Lots of numbered cards. Oh, and Terry, if you're looking for basketball, uh, Cornerstones Basketball comes out uh, next Wednesday. That's the next uh, basketball product up. And uh, National Treasures Football comes out tomorrow night. Or comes out tomorrow. All right, guys, numbered cards. All right, all different numbering, so no particular order here. All right, Mike Trout to 149 for the Angels. Bieber to 150 for the Indians. Harper to 249 for the Nationals. Gallo to 49 for the Rangers. Uh, Mookie Betts to 999 for the Red Sox. Max Muncy, that's number 1099 for the Dodgers. That's the hollow foil back. Looks almost like a metal card from the back. Uh, Yelich at 343 for the Brewers. Jose Ramirez to 999 for the Indians. Uh, Jesus Aguilar to 500 for the Brewers. Albert Pujols to 500 for the Angels. Matt Boyd to 460 for the Tigers. Uh, Whit Merrifield number to 33 for the Royals. Verlander to 150 for the Astros. Jose Ramirez to 999 for the Indians. Uh, JT Realmuto, what is that number two? 114 for the Marlins. Uh, to 150, Sean Reed Foley for the Blue Jays. Arenado to 249 for the Rockies. Sorry, we got Charlie Blackman to 349 for the Rockies. Trevor Richards uh, to 25, that's number two for the Marlins. Manny Machado to 487 for the Dodgers. Uh, Juan Soto to 400 for the Nats. J.D. Martinez to 999 for the Red Sox. James Paxson to 249 uh, for the Mariners. <clears throat> Loriano number to 74 for the A's. Lindor, number to 343 for the Indians. Uh, Astudillo, number to 150 for the Twins. Uh, Pablo Lopez to 126 for the Marlins. Lindor to 49 for the Indians. Uh, Paxson to 999 for the Mariners. Michael Conforto to 42, uh, New York Mets. Soto to 349 for the Nationals. Syndergaard to 150 for the Mets. Aaron Judge to 999 for the Yankees. Brandon Crawford to 500 for the Giants. All right, Hosmer to 500 for the Padres. Harper to 999 for the Nationals. Uh, J.D. Martinez at 249 for the Red Sox. Peralta at a 178 on Milwaukee Brewers. Uh, Minnesota Twins, Fernando Romero to 279. All right, now we got the Team USA cards. All right, we got four of them. A couple of nice ones here. All right, to 999, you got Torkelson and Stinson. To 149, Drew Parrish, and to 99, Andrew Vaughn. All right, now the hits. A couple of big ones here. Um, we also got two Kikuchi rookie cards. Those are some uh, good valued rookie cards right there. All right, here we go. Jersey cards. We got Jordan Hicks for the Cardinals. Reese Hoskins for the Phillies. Ozzy Albies for the Braves. Uh, to 99, you got Marte for the Mariners, rated prospect. All right, we got Jose Ramirez for the Indians. Stalling Castro, that's the retro style, 85 style uh, for the Cubs. You got Texas Rangers Cole Hamels, another retro. 
And to 99, uh, Joey Votto for the Reds. All right, one, two, three, four autographs and a whammy. All right, a whammy card. Juan Soto. There's been one in every case, so like a case hit. Some good value here. Selling for like 35 bucks on eBay right now. Not bad. There you go, Nationals. Uh, Julio Pablo Martinez, auto relic, rated prospect for the Rangers. We got a Harrison Bader autograph for the Cardinals. Bleachers, Inc. I like that style. All right, Anthony Rizzo to 49. 7 out of 49, blue foil. Chicago Cubs. Cubs with a really good break. And the big hit, Seattle Mariners, Yusei Kikuchi, Retro 85, Rated Rookie Signatures. The Phenom out of Japan. See how he does in his rookie year. All right, and that's going to do it, guys. Oh, I don't know anything about comics. I do like comic books, but... uh. Never been like a big collector on them. I've bought like a handful of comics in my life, but with so many issues and volumes and, you know, first appearances, I really have no idea about the value. Hey, what's up, Dan? Thank you. Yeah, that was a big one, man, the Kikuchi. But uh, I'm logging off. I'll be back in 10 minutes with a select basketball. Thank you, guys. Uh, you guys can still chat after I log off uh, if you stay on the channel. If anybody knows anything about comic books, uh, 1966, uh, Amazing Spider-Man. Just check out the chat. Maybe you could help them out. All right. Thanks, guys. Be back in 10 minutes.